did you know September is self care awareness month. Now earlier we showed a project for bookworms and now we have a little something for some me time for getting crafty. Amy Latta is sharing a weighted eye pillow. Now, honestly, I thought making a bookmark was seemed like a very relaxing thing itself. Now you say though, hey, we need to make this. This is where it's at. <laughs> I think they're both both great for relaxation. But this one, this weighted eye mask also celebrates another little holiday that you probably didn't know existed, National Jelly Roll Day, which is a kind of fabric, it's a pre-cut fabric that comes in two and a half inch strips. And that's what I use to create the really fun front of this eye mask. I did not know that was a holiday. No, you got me there. <laughs> um, so, so besides that, what else do we need to make it? Like walk us through the process. Sure. So you've got your jelly roll, which is going to be the fabric for the front. You're also going to need coordinating fabric for the back of your mask. You'll need batting, which is the stuff that goes like inside of a quilt or a pillow that you want to make. And you'll need scissors. There is a pattern that you can download from my website or you can freehand it. And you're going to need um, weights to put in there. So I like to use poly pellets, which are the little plastic weighted stuffing beads. We've used these for all kinds of other projects together here on Getting Crafty. Um, if you don't have these, you could also use rice or dried beans, uh, but that's what's gonna add that weight to your mask. So to start, the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna take those two and a half inch strips and sew five of them together, and that's gonna form like a rectangle for you that has stripes on it. If you're like, I don't know, I'm not really much of a sewist, you can just use a plain piece of fabric. I just thought it was fun to have the stripes, but you can totally use plain fabric too. But once you have a rectangle, you're gonna take that template, you're gonna cut out the shape for the front of your mask, and you're gonna use it again to create the back out of a piece of coordinating fabric. So you've got two of these out of fabric, and then you're also gonna cut two of them out of the batting. And then you're gonna make a sandwich out of it. So we're going to put the two layers of fabric together with the right sides facing in, and then we're going to put the batting on the top and the bottom. So you're actually going to be looking at the batting, which feels wrong, but it's going to be the right way to do it. And then we're going to turn it right side out. So we sew around the edges of this, leaving an opening. We're going to turn it, and then we're going to fill it with these weighted stuffing beads or with your rice or beans or whatever it is that you want to use. And then we just hand stitch that little opening closed and ta-da, we have this little weighted eye mask that you can use. And if you want it to be extra relaxing, you can even add a few drops of essential oils on here. You could use um, lavender, classic for relaxation. You could use peppermint. I like all the minty smells uh, or whatever it is that makes you feel calm and relaxed. I can see how that would be very relaxing, just having that slight weight there on your your eyes. It's just, it, it's soothing, don't you think? It really is. And if you want to add an elastic strap, you can just sew that in while you're sewing the layers together. But I like it just to be able to plop it on there and tell everybody else to go away. <laughs> if we want to, to plop it on ourselves, uh, you said it's on your website. Remind us that website. Sure. It's amylattacreations.com and you can find this as well as lots of other fun projects to try. Lots and lots of projects. Thanks, Amy. Good to see you. You too. We will be right back.